All right, there we go. We have our load test now. Run with it. Yep, we are going to run the fridge on the truck power. All right, baby. Well, we got to get back to work. Today is the day where we're going to secure the solar panels and maybe take this thing for a, a ride and go park somewhere. Yesterday we made some good headway on here. Say we, I don't have a mouse in my pocket. I made some headway. 600 watts of potential power. It's not what you actually get because th these are flash rated. All solar panels are flash rated. And you know, a bench test type thing. Before I even move the truck too far, I only have two panels hooked up, the 200 waters, and then I'm already getting two amps from just two panels and I'm in the shade so that's uh, very efficient panels that's what I like about those panels so if I had all three hooked up I'd be getting six amps just in the shade I don't want to go through grass for, it? Yep, that's why I built it like this. <laughs> Light and big tires on the front so I can climb stuff like that. So I would say this is a score. The neighbors are building a new house, so they're moving away. <clears throat> and he had a wood pile from all his construction stuff that he's done on the house over the years. All right, so I just made the decision. I just don't have enough wood to do this right with the way I want it. So, um, let me turn down Tommy Temper just for a second. All right, Tommy Temper, mute just for a second. Why is it not muting? There we go. All right, so I'm going to take, I took off the boards on the bottom because it was just so hit and miss. I didn't have enough. And I really want to take this thing for a spin, and, I, and I'm running out of time. I can always put the boards back up here in a different manner to where they're not going underneath the solar panels. They're just part of the... Uh, cover of it and that's my plan because it does create some heat back here now that um, I've taken the wood off and but it's going to keep the panels cooler so in theory the, the panels are going to be more efficient this way and it'll also allow me to uh, tie them together easier and tie them down to like this easier and just mount them it's going to be overall easier so it's going to look like this of course this one's spacing's off so I'll have to fix that but for some reason this board is bowed to where it... but that's okay but this other side looks good trigger alert stuff's not even on this truck all right so that's what it's gonna look like for now I kind of, you know I miss the shade I'm gonna figure out how to put something across here I really want to have panels on the side too so when I stop and park somewhere uh, when I'm when I uh, go to shop or something there's just a solar panel like right in here somehow uh, I'm thinking about also putting some wire and screen because I, I don't want people just reaching in here and grabbing stuff like the security camera ripping it off so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to where I can lock this thing down have a solar panel on this side and then this can have like wire mesh with screen I don't know I'll figure it so out this is sticking up a little bit too much now that I have the panel sitting straight on the top here it shows every little thing that's not perfect so I'm gonna with my uh, drywall saw here see if I can knock this off and make it more even so the panel is not sticking up so much because it's uh getting to where it just wants to wobble back and forth when I start wiring it down and we can't be having that because that is definitely function, not fashion. So we want function to be correct. It's working definitely better than you would expect it for just with the drywall saw. This is old fence wood. I'm going to continue on. I'm almost done. So that's what I ended up taking off. And it worked good. This actually worked better than a sawzall because I could be more accurate and, and get it perfect. That's perfectly straight. So now this panel should sit back down better. Let's see what we got. Now it's straight across. So now it's not, before it was rocking back and forth. I ended up taking all this off. This, that, and that. Plus a little bit more. 
So now we can carry on wiring these back down. All right, I got everything moved out of the way. Let's just go for a ride just for a second. Not too far and just see how it sounds and feels. All right, here we go. This is just gonna be a short little run around like we did yesterday. I don't want the train to fall over. I just want to hear what's going to rattle and what's not going to rattle. All right, there's a car coming. So far, no wobble. Still upright. That's surprising. I almost want to take it out for a spin, but I have not eaten today and I feel pretty dehydrated. So I'm not going to push myself any harder. We'll do some acceleration action. All right, so we're going to do something I really shouldn't do, but we're going to go here and show you how sharp this thing will turn. We're just going to do a Yui right here in the roadie look at that just like a jeep can't do that with a new truck all right train is still up wow well that's cool so far everything looks good maybe tomorrow we'll be cruising tomorrow is no agenda day though so we'll see but yeah, the only thing I hear every now and then is the uh, aluminum frame hitting the back of the cab just by a little bit. I really do need a passenger side mirror on this truck. So I don't know if that wood is going to hit the side or not. All right, so we're looking for um, king size bed sheet for the bed cover for the layout. Oh, that thing's not rolling at all. This one rolls. And then um, maybe a spider, because I don't think I'll have time to build one. Well, it looks like they don't have black, so I'm probably gonna have to do camo, which is fine. It kind of looks like terrain. So, and it won't show dirt as much as black or dust. So I wanted California King, but this is just gonna have to work. And it's uh, 35 bucks. So the most I've spent on the project as far as, you know, you know I've got screws for it, but uh, I didn't wanna spend any money on it, but that's okay. I spent 20 bucks on screws the other day and then the turnbuckles, but not much overall. I'm gonna put the cover on top of the plastic now. So this is kind of a walk around what we got here on the before. I know the lighting's bad, but it is nighttime. It's the only time I got to work on stuff lately is uh, day and night, 24-7. <laughs> While I'm in here, I'm gonna get the tank out. So I'm gonna pull the gas tank out. There we go. We got a couple of gallons left in here. That's what's cool about having this marine tank. Just pull it out just like that. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. Well, that part fits comfortably. So I got this access door that's on the upper right side, passenger side, that's just this big, this panel right here. And I'm thinking, you know, it's about the same size as the pillowcase that comes in that set. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's see if it fits in there without ripping it up. All right, let's see if it fits now. These edges were really sharp, jagged edges. Now, that took a paper towel roll, 
cut up some of that with some masking tape. So it should be a lot smoother now. It's working. Look at that. We got us an access panel. That's what I'm talking about. That worked out perfect. So now we have a camo access panel. It's going to fit right in here. Just like this. Like a glove. Let's see, which side do we want the overlap on? We'll do this side over here. And it'll fit in just like that. Look at that. Rock and roll. I ended up moving it perfectly in the center. That way the weight distribution's the same and I have good access down here still to work on the bottom of these pipes if I need to. Yeah, that's going to work out good. So how I did this one is I left it folded. I didn't mess up the folds from the factory. And I slipped it inside here, if you look, perfectly. And there's the plastic right there. So there's a double sheet on this side, on, on both sides. So it's right, double so we got sheet. got a nice little roll right on the edge of the plastic. So now we have our little plastic sheet sandwich. And we're going to just walk it over there because we don't want to mess up our other stuff. Put wrinkles in it. Gets pretty heavy with all the sheet stuff on there. Now we're going to set it in place. Right there. And then I'm going to unroll this. It's going to drop down just like I thought it would. I'm going to set it in there. And I just need to fix the other side real quick with the access door. And look at that. Alright, so it looks pretty good. I'm glad they didn't have black at this point. I think the camo kind of uh, hides the the lines. I don't know, black would have hid the lines too. But it doesn't matter. There's going to be track on here. I like the fact that I got um, two access panels up front. So that's it right there. That's not the uh, fixed layout for sure. I'm going to put probably an Auto World track right here because... Those tracks always need to be cleaned. Those types of tracks don't need to be. Those scale electric micros, you don't have to worry about cleaning them so much. I think I'm gonna call it a night. So yeah, tomorrow is a lot of wiring and I gotta readjust these panels a little bit. I got it too close to the cab on, on one side. So it's barely tapping the cab, but a little small testing and tuning. Time to read like a professional display. So today is a big day where we're going to put the big panels back on the truck right and finish the uprights. All right, so we got uh, the newest one, Loud Red. Rustic Bones is the name for the truck. All right, I'll consider that. Sun Honey, name it Mr. Bones. All right, um, that's weird. Two bones in a row. Um, Ron Watson, could be Russell knowing you though, brother. <laughs> I'm not name, I'm not naming it Russell. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Ron Watson. Obviously, it's going to be Rusty. All right. Katie says I like what We the People name suggested. So We the People seventy five suggested Patina, and the reply there is, uh, let's see. She also said Katie says if you want to age the boards, you can take steel wool in a jar and let the uh, until it rusts and apply rust water and sunshine to get it uh, seasoned. Yeah, that's a lot of time I don't have, but yeah, that's a, that's a cool uh, hack there. Judy8 says, crazy fun. KCTV says, I'll bet that's been done before. He's talking about the exhaust, or the sock on the exhaust. And he says, speed up the replay and make it look up here faster. So I'm doing that right now. I can only play at double speed. On YouTube so I took your suggestion there and I'm speeding up the replay all right MM says another great episode of electro fried 65 I'm gonna use that electrified 65 so I like that uh, oh let's see think you have something there with the uh, exhaust socks yeah you may need to pat you may need to pat that one uh, great for any shop or gearhead that has old rides that doesn't want uh, the carbon splatter everywhere. Yeah, it does work good. Let's see, what's the reply here? Agreed. 
Yeah, the fact that I'm only pulling the, the truck in and out every day, it doesn't uh, get the condensation out of the exhaust, and that just that carbon stuff builds up. Wendy Pooh Bear says, my Walmart has dry ice. Okay, cool. I'll have to check out, see if we got some here. Monica Peterson says, uh, the push out of the shop was a super cool shot. She's really coming along. Well, cool. That's it for the, I'm um, trying to get, keep these videos as short as possible. And um, 15 minutes is my goal. Like, share, subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow. And uh, maybe we'll be taking a cruise pretty soon. Love you all.